starting a new segment, the Max Three Minute Thursday. Good afternoon. Uh, the point of the thir the Thursdays, three minutes Thursdays with the Max is going to be ways that the conventional farm is unlike your homestead. Uh, the ways that we do things homestead wise that people probably think we're crazy. Uh, it's a it's not the, a new innovative way. It's just a way that I think that we can be different than a conventional farm. So uh, today's is going to be deworming cattle and talking about other ways that you can deworm other animals. Um, the three minutes we're going to base ours on is. Our, cattle's he our cattle here. Uh, a few things we mix with their water and with their feed. Um, and it basically, I think it works. We've never not had an issue so far and I think it's been good. You see Aiden, he's been working back there feeding animals. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is uh, Shakely's H2, basic H2 home cleaner. Uh, what this is, this is uh, basically something you could use in your washes you can wash dishes with it you can clean your house with it but also what we've read and also done some studies on and along with listen to a lot of other homesteaders is figure out ways that this can be utilized uh, on an organic farm uh, i've not done those no crazy huge study but what i've seen so far is we put a few drops of uh, basic h2 in their water and we make sure that's the only water source that we can that they have available and what we do is we'll put, Steve, like right now, it's really hot, so they're drinking a lot of water, so we'll put this in their water. Now, it doesn't really foam or bubble too much, but what we wanna do is it helps be a natural cleaner to their system. It will detox them, deworm them, and I think so far it's so good. It hadn't really uh, affected them in any other way other than providing um, really what they need without having to give them a shot or injection. So where we're, we're not doing shots and injections, we put something in their water that is organic and plant-based. Now. Along with this, we put this in their water once uh, every few weeks or months, basically when we think they're in need of it or it's been a real rainy season or a real dry season, uh, and maybe the grass is down, you know, whatever it may be, this is what we tend to put in there. So it's just as needed for us. Something that we do on a weekly or two week basis, um, and really even more than that sometimes depending on the weather, is a natural detox or natural dewormer apple cider vinegar. Every homesteader most likely uses apple cider vinegar some way or form. We use a White House organic raw and filtered um, uh, apple cider vinegar. We place this in their food so you know where most people will make chickens and uh, or for chickens hogs they'll they'll ferment their food or they'll uh, put it in water to kind of help keep it together and pack it. We'll also mix some apple cider vinegar in there uh, as well and give it to the hogs and to the chickens. It's a great detox, a great dewormer, and it tends to keep them healthy. Also what we do is we put it in the cow's water and the cow's feed. So we don't feed our cows uh, a lot, but we do feed them feed when we want them to eat apple cider vinegar or when we're deworming. So uh, as in spraying and also fly spray. So we hope you enjoyed our first three minute Thursday. Uh, again, ways that we can try to be unconventional uh, on the homestead and ways that we can try to be as natural as possible. First being with apple cider vinegar, Shakely's H2, and they both work really good. If you're not subscribed to the Max, please do. Uh, we hope that you enjoy our channel and uh, we hope that you have a great day. Happy homesteading y'all.